Okay, everybody, welcome back. I've been asked numerous times on how to tie a Santee rig. A lot of people don't know how to tie them. I was taught years ago how to tie this down at Santee Cooper, and I've been doing it ever since. And I understand that there's a lot of ways you can tie this rig. There's a lot of things you can add to this rig, like rattles, beads, um, demon dragon corks, uh, just, just numerous things. Uh, red hooks, black hooks. Um, I've done them all. I really haven't seen the results to make me buy anything more than what I've already owned or what I've bought in the past. Uh, my way catches fish. Uh, we've caught many a big fish. My wife's caught a lot more than I have. But today I'm gonna show you how to tie a simple rig. And first of all, I don't use anything more than 20 pound test line. I use Trilene Berkeley Big Game, 20 pound. Uh, my boat weighs about 3,000 pounds, uh, fully loaded with us in it, maybe a little more. And 20 pound will pull my boat when hung up against the waves, against the current, and not break. I've actually had to troll past it and cut the line. So 20 pound to catch anything that's out there for me to catch. I would say, uh, let off your drag, fight the fish a little longer. Why you want to horse the fish, especially when they're deep. You don't want to bring them up too fast. So what I usually do is, I, I cut off about, I don't know, six inches. Cut off six inches. And that would be my uh, weight slide. Um, I take a number five uh, barrel swivel. I tie it on. I, I don't use no special knots or anything, guys. Uh, I use clinch knots. I usually give it a eight to ten twist. And my eyesight, I should have grabbed my glasses, to be honest with you. But uh, what I do is I come back through the, uh, the main eye loop. Wet and cinch. And there it is. I don't know if you can see that. Um, then what I do is I take a snap swivel. I take a snap swivel. Nothing large. Number five will be fine. And I slide it on the line. So right now I got barrel swivel and snap swivel on a slide. Then I'm going to take another barrel swivel and do the same thing. Eight to ten turns, twist. And like I said, I'm struggling to see it. And what we're going to do is we're going to come back through the, the main loop. I'm going to get it here shortly. Wet and sense. So now we got we got a barrel swivel, six inch line with a snap swivel slide. And that snap swivel slide will be for your weight, uh, your dragon weight. Um, then I come back and I take a I take a piece of line, um, anywhere from 18 to 24 inches is good enough. Come back, I'm gonna cut it. And we'll take that six inch slider. And what we'll do is we'll tie it to one of the swivels. And I know what you're thinking. It should be 30 to 50 pound, 80 pound liter and all that stuff. But if you're not fishing the Tennessee River or strong rivers with currents and stuff like that, you fish in lakes, this is plenty. Wet and cinch. And then we'll come down here, we'll come to the end. I actually use an eight-aught circle hook. This is a modified circle, and I like to use offset hooks. Um, I think you get a, a, be, a lot better uh, hookup ratio with that. Um, I've used them all. All of them are good. None's better than other. It's just whatever you have a lot of confidence in. And then... I snail these, 
I snail these hooks or I sent them. And, and I've been doing this right here for years and it works great. I mean, there's, it's, the knots are not going to break. Uh, set your drag. Use your drag. That's what drags are for, guys. Uh, drags are for not to break or snap or rip the hook out of your mouth. And I don't know if you can see this real good, but the rig's tied. Then you'll take a three inch peg float I use chartreuse, chartreuse green, um, or I use pink and white. Used them for many years, and I always put the red closer to the bait if you do them. But chartreuse green, what you'll do is you'll come back and you'll do, I do four fingers four fingers above the hook and then I'll put my float on. And then peg it. And peg it. Now you can actually use the, the I guess you call them slip floats without the slot all the way down the side. Um, I've used them for years also. But these, when they get torn or ripped or bit into, you can pop one off and put another on. The other way, you actually have to cut the hook off, slide a new weight on, peg it, and then tie the hook back on. Um, when I'm tying these rigs, I do like 25 or 30 rigs at a time. I usually snail the hook, but today we're going to just do a clinch knot. But you can see what you got. Six inch slipper, and we got the uh, three inch peg float four fingers and you had the hook guys as simple as that this will catch any catfish out there mud cat channel cat blue cat and flathead i've caught them all just buy your stuff and before i get i actually put my supplies in uh medicine bottles it's an easy way to keep them they're dry they don't rust and you can actually see when your your level's getting low inventory um, I've been doing this for a while and they work great. Snap swivels, barrel swivels, save your medicine bottles. All right, guys, get to the dragon weight. There's all kind of weights out on the market. I've seen all different kinds. Um, they got floating weights, snake weights, um, banana weights, slinky weights, uh, bouncing weights. I mean, I'm gonna show you something simple. This was showed to me years ago by a fella named uh, Chuck Chute, and he called it a lollipop. Uh, he has a YouTube channel out there. Y'all go out there and check him out. But he showed this to me, and he actually hammers the, the uh, two ounce lead on, which I don't. I actually um, put a little bend on the end of the uh, the weight like this. And you can see that it won't fall off. But when it gets hung in a, in a log jam, uh, rocks, anything, what'll happen to it, it'll pull off. And all you do is grab a new weight, slide it on, slide it on, put that little bend in there, and then you're back in business. Um, this is a great idea, it's cheap. The little wires, you can use uh, thin wire clothes hangers, um, anything, wire that you can find. I've actually bought dish trainers before and cut all the wires out of it and got at least 50 wires. Um, like I said, at the end, you'll come back and you'll grab a pair of needle nose pliers and then you'll put a little loop in there just like that. I don't know if you can see it, but a little loop. You take your, uh, your rig, you take your rig, snap swivel you put your new weight on here and there it is simple simple as can be you got your little slider and what this does is it actually this line goes to your your fishing rod and this actually can slide and give it some bounce 
some movement so it can jump things and all. And then you have your 18 to 24, 36 inch um, leader back here with your hook and your peg float. And this works great. I've used this at least what, 16, 18 years. Awesome rig. I hope this helps y'all. I know you can go out here and just buy this simple stuff. Don't cost a lot of money. Get you some inventory. Don't forget the medicine bottles. It's the best way to keep your stuff together. And uh, get out there and catch you some catfish. You can catch them on the bank. You can catch them off of a boat. Anyway, this, this rig works. So, y'all have a good one. Until next time, later.